Setting up a Visual Studio Code development environment on Windows for the D++ library for developing Discord bots with C++. This tutorial assumes basic knowledge of the following topics. C++, CMake, Git and GitHub. To get started, create your own bot repository using DPPC Make template. The link is in the description. Choose any repository name you like. Make sure you have a recent version of Visual Studio 2022 or newer installed with C++ tools and CMake. Installing Git for Windows. Customize the installation options however you like. Clone the repository you created earlier. Run Visual Studio Developer PowerShell and start VS Code from it the first time you open the bot project. This step may not be necessary in your case, but for me, VS Code had trouble finding the Visual Studio build tools if I did not do this step. Make sure the C++ and CMake extensions from Microsoft are installed. If this is your first time installing the extensions, you may need to restart VS Code here to make the CMake extension automatically detect the project's CMake build and configure presets. The project comes with a few CMake presets which are defined in the cmakepresets.json file. You may customize the presets there for your own use cases. For this tutorial, we'll use the debug configuration. Once CMake is done configuring, build the project. The first build will take longer and subsequent builds should be rather quick. The main.cpp file contains some boilerplate that I like to use personally. You may edit it as you see fit.
Running the bot for the first time will result in an error as we've not set the token in environment variables yet. We can also use the debugger. Setting the secret bot token in Windows environment variables. The S code has to be restarted after setting the variable. If you do not know how to get your token, look up a tutorial on setting up a Discord bot app on Discord Developer Portal. Run the bot with a valid token to verify it works properly. Next, I will invite the bot to my test server to demonstrate the ping pong slash command. If you do not know how to create a bot invite link, look up a tutorial. Checking that I have the permission to use the slash command. Finally, run the bot and verify that the ping pong command works. Check out the following resources for official guides and help on using the D++ library.